Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Duke Silver. Today we're going to be playing Treasure Hamsters. Treasure Hamsters says that two of your treasures in your treasure selection when you triple a character will be one level higher. So you get to see some higher level treasures pretty consistently throughout the game. Uh, we're going to start off as we al almost always do with a uh, talking frog flipped into a freed prince. Just too many stats. <laughs> until uh, until until that, that potentially gets changed, uh, we're just going to keep doing that. I mean... Otherwise, other people are just going to do it and uh, and cause you to lose a lot of HP. Um, so yeah, we're going to take a, take a pair of cats here. I was just going to fire off the uh, targeted spell on the other ta talking prince, but we uh, we take the pair and then like mostly because we're treasure hamster. I think oftentimes I would just ignore the pair and go and just flip the flip the freed prince there. But uh, but pair you really really want pairs on uh, on treasure hamster, of course. Seeing higher level treasures is going to uh, is your way to kind of get ahead. Uh, speaking of pairs, we've got three pairs now, um, and uh, and yeah, we've got a we've got a whole plethora of cats here. Cats is something that uh, I realize that we haven't really played too much of on uh, on this channel, and by that I mean I don't have a single cats video. So, in the interest of fairness, let's play some cats. Um, I, I think cats are, uh, are are generally have been kind of a menace at lower MMRs. Um, I know I've seen a lot of people complaining about them. Um, that were that are kind of like people that uh that are newer to the to the genre or the game uh, in general and didn't play like old SBB and whatnot. Um, so uh, so I don't think cats are, are like extremely good in general, but I know they again they they've, they've kind of been a menace for uh, for lower MMR players and uh, and I, I guess I kind of wanted to show that you you can still win with cats at higher MMRs as well. Um, but uh, but I definitely don't think they're uh, they're nearly as as uh, as oppressive as uh, as they might seem when you uh, when you first start the game, anyways. Um, but yeah, we uh, we got a, a silent bell um, relatively uh, early here. We passed on a weird compass, and be just because we have the tokens, I think uh, I think having like a nice uh, nice a cat board and uh, and if you can, well, like we took this crew member, you want to get like a crew member duelist chain going if you can. Um, with the silent bell and then uh, kind of really make use of those stats. So it's a fair it's a fair amount of uh, stats for a level three treasure plus four plus three to your whole board. It gets very good when you're summoning a lot of things and uh, and really really making use of it. And you can see uh, it's helping us stay stable here, even uh, deal some damage to Fisher King there. Uh, we, we're gonna pick up a couple of muddy ocean crabs. It's just kind of a hedge towards uh, stealth, just in case. And I mean, of course, as I said before, we are uh, we are treasure hamster, and so we want pairs. We're gonna have to sell out of a couple pairs here, though, unfortunately, um, because I really want this. Uh, I want this funny cat, which we are gonna summon, so that that counts as a, a cat summon. It does reduce the overall amount of summons, but the uh, the fact that we're already summoning, I think it was seven cats, uh, it's just going to be a really, really big boost. That's going to be plus 14, plus seven to our whole board once that funny cat dies. Just going to take another aura here, the Rune of Rising Power, which is going to give us plus two, plus one for each level. We are above three, I believe. So right now, uh, we're getting plus four, plus two to our whole board, plus our plus four, plus three from the, uh, from the Silent Bell. We get to triple our funny cat, and we see a couple level five treasures. Neither of them are ones that I want here. Uh, the immutable idol—it's already a little bit too late to even bother with that. So we uh, we just take a reroll. We'll see uh, see what we get. Sacrifice a couple gold next turn to uh, to get another look at a better treasure. And yeah, unfortunately, we actually summon too too many cats there, and uh, we don't we don't summon any anything except for the uh, the one funny cat out of the crew member there. So we may have overdone it with the power level. <laughs> There's a duelist. Uh, I don't think we're going to lock for it, but like I said, the duelist crew member chains are something you definitely want to do, especially if you're moving into like a summons uh, cat strategy kind of thing. Um, just like, yeah, just having a ton of uh, points of contact on the angel board. Angel board, angel boards are, are generally very strong in the mid game, so uh, not entirely surprising that we lose that one. That's kind of uh, kind of their whole deal is uh, they're strong in the mid game and then they, uh, they have to find ways to... Uh, to either pivot out or or find ways to scale their their angels later, so they're not not it's not a great uh, end game comp unless the stars kind of align for them. But but during the mid game, they are very formidable. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take another funny cat here. I don't know how much I like this uh, this pickup personally. In hindsight, I think uh, I think I could have used my gold a little bit better. Um, there's a there's also a Merlin there like maybe a Merlin as a hedge would be really good I mean, it's a it's a powerful support and like it probably fits it fits pretty well as just like kind of a way to buff your uh, your summons 
um, in the meantime before you uh, before you get your cat queens. Um, we did lock a, uh, a cat cabinet there. A recently nerfed cat cabinet now only summons a single uh, single catnip in a bottle, which I think is a good change. Uh, the upgraded does uh, the upgraded version does uh, summon a second one though. Uh, we are going to pass on that uh, that Merlin. Like I, like I said, Merlin's like a good stopgap between uh, before you get your uh, your cat queens, but uh, but you definitely don't want to be just jamming them as soon, as soon as you see them. It's more of a, a thing that you buy when you're running out of gold and you want to make uh, you want to add something to your board um, just to make this so so you're not just rolling the whole turn kind of thing. It's kind of a kind of a well, I got to do something this turn uh, situation. And see uh, Aladdin here uh, playing uh, playing stars, which uh, which is very fortunate. Uh, we did pick up a cat queen last turn, and uh, that adds a ton of stats to our board. Uh, but yeah, seeing seeing a stars opponent um, is generally very good. If you if you if you happen to be in cats, which again at higher MMRs, I don't see a lot of people playing cats at all. But uh, but yeah, it, um, there are a fair amount of star stars players, and, uh, and cats are just kind of the natural predator to uh, to stars players. As uh, we just have so many, uh, so ma there's so many bodies there that the uh, the star they can't they generally can't charge enough stars to take out all your uh, all your tokens before uh, before being taken out by by the remainder of your summons. Um, this Fisher King has assembled a symbol of unity plus double puff here, but um, they don't quite have enough uh, support boost there to uh, to completely scam us out. So um, we absorb all those spells with our summons and manage to take them down and deal some damage. We do need them to uh, to either die very soon, or uh, or they are going to take over the game, though. So that is definitely something to keep an eye on. And I see it. there's an opponent here with uh, with Celestial Shield and also Ice Ring for some reason. Um, so I'm, they're really setting themselves up for failure there. I've actually I've seen that a lot. A lot of times I've seen people with Shield characters take uh, like Ice or Blizzard Ring or whatever you call it, and. Uh, and it just baffles me every time. <laughs> All right, we get some level seven uh, treasures here. Um, the Excalibur Scabbard would just would do a, go a long way in just like, giving us an instant power spike here. But we're gonna take the Spell Reflector, and uh, unfortunately, I like spoiler warning, it's not really gonna pay off all that well. But my idea was basically. You know, I'm playing a ton of summons already. Like, I, I really want to find a wolf here. I want to find a wolf and just wolf, wolf the whole board and then just, like, start building up the summons again because all those all those cats that come out are going to count towards our cat summons. And then we just keep uh, keep building, like, uh, cat queens and uh, and more uh, more more ways to benefit from the, from the cat summons. Uh, and, yeah, you can just uh, you just kind of get, like, an endless chain of, uh, of summons. I mean that's that that's what I wanted to do. I thought it would make a very very exciting video, but um, unfortunately or fortunately, we uh, we kind of just uh, destroy the stars player here. Uh, as again, we are their natural predator, and fortunately for us, the uh, the symbol of unity player did get taken out, I believe, by the stars player, or uh, or maybe maybe by the ghost. Actually, I think I think they might have been alive last turn and died to the ghost. So, I mean, again pretty fortunate for us. Um, now that we've upgraded our cat cabinet though, uh, we do want to play one down. We're going to play the, the crew member to summon uh, summon the funny cat instead of... Uh, and that, that way we're playing basically an empty board space because uh, we just we just want to get the, make sure we get the most uh, tokens out of our uh, out of our cat cabinet. We want to get uh, get both uh, both catnips and uh, just, it just makes it a uh, higher likelihood that we're actually going to have the board space for our tokens. Um, I believe I should. Oh yeah, I did. I'd swap the cat box, so we're not going to summon the funny cat. We're going to summon the cat box. The cat box is what we want. The funny cat bonus kind of irrelevant at this point. Um, we just need more bodies. And yeah, they've got uh, a couple Oberons there, and uh, and a couple Star Childs, and uh, Princess Titania. Pretty formidable stars board. They're making some very big stars, but it just doesn't matter. We just have way too many cats. And again, we uh, we crush the stars player. We are their natural predator. Uh, we don't get to do the the fun. Uh, Wolf the whole board summons thing. Eventually, we'll if if we can get that. Don't worry, that'll that'll definitely go on YouTube as soon as possible if that happens. Um, but yeah, there we go, cats. Uh, our first cats video. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think of cats. What do you think of their spot in the meta game? I guess. Um, do you just like like the art? <laughs> I don't know. 
let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, um, all that fun stuff. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow.